welcome again to my channel my name is Cynthia in today's tutorial I'll be making teaching you how to make an illusion wrapper okay um, illusion wrapper gown all right so I'll be using this um, beautiful Indian judge for my illusion um, wrapper gown I'll be focusing basically on just how to make the illusion wrapper so this today I'll be making the, doing the cuttings today and then by next week Tuesday I'll be uploading the video on the on the stitching but I'm going to I'm going to do everything from the um the upper bodies to the lower bodies and all that so I'll just I'll do everything but I'll um more I'll lay more emphasis on just the um the wrapper gown so these are the instruments I'll be using today this is an, an Indian lace Indian judge and this is my pattern paper and uh, I have my pattern master I have my marker my um I have my scissors and I have a matching thread and also I have a masking tape and also I have my my tape here with me. So um, if today is the first time of coming to this channel, I want to say um, you're welcome and then if you've not subscribed, please subscribe and turn off the notification bell so you always get notified whenever we upload our, our video. Okay, so I am going to start by drafting the upper bodies. It's going to be a corset. I already have a video on how to make a corset here and so even if uh, even if I don't explain much I would want you to I'll be putting the link below on how to draft the corset just go and and watch how to what to draft the the corset so let's um, start right away the shoulder I've been working with is 15.5 divided by 2 I have 7.75 um, so this is my shoulder 7.75 and then I'll be adding half inch to it like I said I'm working I'm making a corset okay it's gonna be a corset down but uh, we are dwelling much on how to make the illusion but since today is the drafting aspect I want to show us how to do everything now the armhole I'm working with I'm working with armhole of 8 inches then the bust point is 10 how the bust is, um, I'm working with all the bust of 13.5, okay, and so uh, the waistline I'm working with is um, 16.5, but from the under bust, I'll be making it look like a, a basque, okay, so from the under bust length, from the 3 inches I have, I'm going to add extra 6 inches. Okay, let's use 5. I'll use 5, okay, for my bust. Alright, so I'll just draw all my lines and make the lines look very visible. I'll use my pattern master to do that. This is the bust here. Okay, I added an extra 5 inches. So the next we are going to do now, because I want it to have a look, I'm going to take out my neckline. So the neckline I'm working with right now is, um, I'll be using deep of 4 inches, because I didn't want, I don't want it to be so tortured, okay? So I'm using a deep of 4 inches, and the width, uh, I'll be using 3 inches, okay? So I'll just connect. Remember I said I want a yoke, so if you want a yoke, I don't know how to get it, just keep watching. So, I want to get a yoke first. So, I'll just put my cuff and also I'll put my ammo cuff here. Alright, so once I do that, the next is to get a nipple to nipple. The boss I'm working with is a uh, boss 38. So, the nipple to nipple for boss of 38 is 4 inches. If you're wondering how I got this 4 inches, I'll be linking the video on how to cut the basic bodies. There I explained different sizes of bust and their nipple to nipple. So I'll, I'll, I'll be putting the link for you, okay? So just go and watch it. So 4 inches. I'll take the 4 inches down to the water, the bust line. So I am going to draw the line. Okay, so this is it. Alright, now to get the next way drafting is to 
uh, get my neck, the second neckline. That is where you want your yoke to stop, okay? That's the second neckline. So, uh, with the picture I have here, uh, it's somehow kind of deep, okay? So, I'll be coming as slow as um, 8 inches to get my second neckline. So, I'll be using 8 inches. So, from this 8 inches, I'll come again by half inch, okay? Giving me 8.5. 8.5. So, that 8.5, which is here, I'm going to make a straight line at 8.5. Okay. So, this is giving me a new chest line, okay? It's going to give me a new chest line. So, I'm going to extend my nipple to nipple line to make that one new chest line, okay? So, I'm going to extend it. And so once I extend it, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to measure what I have from the bust point from this new chest line to my under bust. Okay, this is my under bust here. So I'm going to check what I have. Remember, this is the bust point, this is the under bust. So from this new chest line, I'll check what I have. Now I'm trying to create the corset. Don't worry, I'm going to come to the neckline. I'm trying to create the what the corset. So from here. I have 5 inches. Half of 5 inches is going to give me 2.5, which is here, to give me 2.5. So this is my new boss point. You saw how I got the boss, new boss points now. So this is my new boss point. So I'm going to come to the, on the, to the waistline. I'll take 1 inch here and 1 inch here, okay? So I'll connect it to my words on the boss line and take it down to meet my words, my basque. So once I meet the back, the next is going to come, I'm going to connect it to meet my new boss point, okay? Don't forget that. So we are connecting it to meet our new boss point. So just connected to meet a new boss point. So around the chest area, I'm going to take one inch, one inch also. One inch here, one inch here. I'll connect it to also meet a new boss point. So I'll connect this one so. So I'm just trying to just try and smoothen those areas. Let me use this. Try to smoothen the area so it doesn't look too sharp. So once I do this, uh, around this area, I will still come down again by half inch. So from this half inch, I'm going to connect it to meet my what? My, I'll connect it to meet uh, my chest line. And then from there, I'll connect it to inside the armhole, okay? And so, but if you think, if you think um, this is going to be too low for your clients, you can still decide to come up. You can still use seven what inches, okay? And okay, um, okay. I think it's too low. So what will happen is this. I think I will come up with. Um, let me leave it at seven point five here, and then while I take the call from this place, so let's leave it at this place, okay? Let's leave it at seven point five. I think it will be too low. All right, uh, it will be too low for my client. So let's leave it at here. So I'll just take one inch, one inch around there. It will be too low. So I'll just take one inch here, one inch here. So I'll connect. Please check, okay? You can make any alteration if you want. So I think I should leave it there. So now for the new neckline, I am going to come down by um, 
9.5 that's from here so i'm going to connect it to the wall to the chest line i'll connect it to the chest line that's from here so you see how i connected it so from here i'll connect it to to meet walls the arm hole So I've uh, just connected to meet what the armhole. So this is a, a new neckline. So if I'm going to cut out the, if I'm cutting out the, uh, what's it calling it? The yoke, I'll just cut this way and then this way. So because I'm going to need the yoke, I'll just still leave it. So let's continue. The next we're going to do now is to um, get our cleavage allowance, okay? The cleavage allowance, you know, the separation between your two bros, that's the cleavage. So I'm going to take I'll take it at half inch, okay? Half inch here, and I'll take it down to make the what? The under bust line. So I'll connect my cleavage line. This is the cleavage. So from that cleavage, I am going to connect what? Um, connect my corsets. Remember, we did some attrition here. So... I would have gotten a new cost, a new uh, boss point altogether. So let's see what we have here. So uh, since it's six, so it means this place is going to be my new world's boss point, which is around here. So I'm going to connect my corset from here to uh, to this place. You remember, like I said, to get your boss points from your chest line, the place you make your chest line to the under boss, whatever you have, divided by two. You know, I did the first time, it was 5, we divided, we got 2.5, but I, I made some alteration here, so which means I was supposed to correct it here. So from there, the distance of the chest here to my underboss is 6 inches, so divided by 2, you have 3. So this place, this where, where there's a point here, automatically becomes my what? My new boss point. So from there, if you, if you match it this way, this is where our boss point is going to be. So from that boss point, I just connected towards the other boss here, okay? So now the next thing you should get is this area, okay? I'm going to get a corset this area. The boss is usually fuller around this area. So I'm going to check what I have here. So I have 3.5. The distance from here to here, I have 3.5. So it means I'm going to add half inch on this area. Remember, this is a new boss point. So if I'm making any markings, it should be around here. Okay, around this area. All right. So now what I'm going to do now is the 3.5 plus half inch. I have four inches. So I'm going to place my four inches right away here. Okay. So this is my four inches. So from there, I am going to connect my what? My corset. So once I connect this, I am also going to measure what I have here from here to what four inches to correspond with what I have here. So from the line here, you can see from this place, that's from here to four inches, which is here. So from there, I'll just connect it towards the four inches. So this is our, our corset, okay? So I'll just draw the lines very well. Okay, so this is it, all right? Okay, so now I am going to start putting in my what? My measurement. Okay, the boss I'm working with is 38. 38 divided by 4, we have 9.5. So 9.5 is here. I'll be adding um, sewing allowance of 2 inches. Okay? And then the other boss I'm working with is... 33.5 okay and someone will say are you not snatching the waist okay i would have loved to snatch this waist but my client is pregnant okay so we don't want anything to happen to our baby so please 
no waste snatching, nothing yet. All right, so now um, um, I'll be using um, 8.25 for my other bus. 8.25. So I'll be adding 2 inches for my allowance. And then I'll be adding this extra 2 inches with 2 for the darts, which is here. So the waste I'm working with is... Um, I'm working with waist 39, waist 39. So divide it by four, we'll be having 9.75. So I'll be adding two inches for my um, that, and then two inches for my allowance. Actually, I'll be using um, loop for the back, okay? I'll be making this process on the back area, uh, but I don't want it tight on my clients okay all right so now with the highest measurement which is here i'll just draw it to meet the words okay we just draw it this way then remember this is our waistline so because i wanted it to be a basque i'll just come down with um one inch more so from here i'll draw my words my basque So this is the basque. Okay, so now inch. And so I'll connect my shoulder. And so I'll cut it out and then we do the back. So, for me, I don't want the back to have a zip allowance. So, because I don't want a zip allowance on it, uh, but I'm still, I'll still draft it out, and then we are going to remove what the zipper what allowance. Okay, you can decide to use a shoulder dart or any kind of dart for your back neckline. And so, I want the back to have something like a V on it. So, just watch what happened now. I'm going to draft that exactly what I have here. I'll set the front side aside, and then I will do what the back. Remember to add your one inch around this area, okay? So right now, I'll just draft out everything I have here. So I'll just... I have the bus points, the on the bus, waistline and then our allowance all right so and this is our zip allowance all right so i will be needed this zip allowance and remember i said i wanted to have loop on the back so what i'm going to do right now is this i'm going to take away we'll take away one inch or 1.5 depending on what you want to take away so i'll be taking away 1.5 inch from the back but first of all, let's put our nipple to nipple line, which is four inches, four inches, four, four. All right, so. All right, so for this back part, I'm going to indicate where the neckline is, okay? So I'm going to turn it to a shoulder dart. All right, I tried to turn it to shoulder that. So what you're going to do right now is that neck line. This is the neck line. I'm going to check what I have. I have five inches divided by two. We have 2.5. Okay, from the 2.5, I'll connect it to meet my bus point. So automatically, I'll just cut out this way. All right cut it out and have two words piece but because i won't be using a zipper so what i'm going to do is this i'm going to come in by you can come in by one inch or 1.5 that's what i want to remove from my back okay since i'll be putting rope on it that's the, the but this is the neckline here remember that's the neckline so i want my neckline to stop at 10 inches which is around here so 10 inches I want to stop at 10 inches, so I'm going to connect my neckline 
instead of connecting this way remember this is a neckline so i'll connect this neckline to meet what my boss point which is here and this is where the 2.25 is sorry 1.25 that i just collected now so that's where i want my neckline to stop so i'll just connect okay and then i'll take this one down remember i came in by 1.25 1.25 and this is our neckline remember the front has three inches this way so from the neckline i connected the water where i want my back new neckline to be which is around 10 inches as the boss point area so this is it so i'm going to cut it out now now i'm going to add some allowance on this area but i already have okay i'm going to add some allowance on this area so that i will not be short of what fabric because of this new dart i have here so i'll just add extra half inch this way and until i get to what all right so i'll cut it out now this is my back piece the two of them all right i so hope you can understand how i cut. all right so this is the lower part so right now i would want this area to show very well that's this down area so what i'm going to do is this uh, remember we said her underboss is 13.5 so it means her half length is 16.5 so from 16.5 i want to the her gown length is 60 inches so i will say 16.5 minus 60. so we have a total of um we have a total of um 43.5 so i'll be needing extra 43.5 so i'll place my tape at 60 inches and then i'll end it at um 16 okay i'm supposed to end it at 16.5 at um, 16.5 but i came up with half inch to join my what upper body so i'll take it here at 16 16 inches so the new the hip I'm working with, the length of the hip I'm working with, I'll be using 24 inches, 24 inches, then I have my what? My gown length. So I'll just rule the line. So this is the waistline. This is the waistline. And this is the hip line as the hip line so the waist i'm working with is 39 inches if you remember that's nine inches 39 divided by four yes 39 divided by four we have 9.75 so right now i'll be adding three inches to this my allowance okay on the lower area then the hip I'm working with 44.75, so um, divided by 4, you have 11.3, 11.3, I will add 3 inches for my allowance, so whatever I have here, okay, that's, I have 14.25 here, I'll be using 13.25 um, on my new area, so I'll just um, like measure where I want my new area to be. I'll be using 35, 36 inches for my new area. So I'll be using whatever I have on the hip, whatever I have on the hip area. Okay, minus one, I have 13.25. So whatever I have on the new area, I'll still minus one, I'll put it on my what, on my gown length. So I have 13.25 here, then we are putting 12.25. So I'll just connect all my lines. So this is the lower part, that's the skirt part. So right now, just what? Cut it off. So we are cutting this one. So this is the front part. I laid it down on top of another fabric so that I can cut out what the back part. So I'm going to use the front part to cut out what the back part. I'm going to 
to open up the zipper area, okay? So, once I'm through opening up the zipper area, that's the what the illusion wrapper. I'll show you how to do the illusion wrapper for what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's say this is the dummy, and this is the left, this is the back side of the dummy, and this is our right hand side. Now the wrapper is going to be attached this way. Just follow me up. The wrapper is going to be attached from here, okay, from the back area. So I want to put it inside of the zipper side. I'm trying to explain because I'm not actually sewing today. I'm only cutting today. So I'm explaining so that you know how to cut yours. So this wrapper is going to go into the zipper from the back side and then it will get to the what? To the waist side of the right hand side. That's to the hip side of the right. That's the right hand side, okay? It will come this way. You can see how it's going. Remember, from the center back, it's coming this way, okay? It's coming this way. So now, if we measure what we have here, half of our back, like you can see, half of the back here is, for the hip area, is 11 inches. Half of this front side is 11 inches, and then half of here is 11 inches. So we are only left with this place, this quarter, all right? So we need it. Three of what? Of our what? Our hip, of our hip measurement. That is when we divide it by four. We needed three of it. Like I said, they, if you are tying your wrapper in this part of the eastern, um, eastern Nigeria, you will usually start from the left hand side. That's true. But I'm trying to explain how the wrapper is going to come from. Now, once this one comes to this place, you'll be needing some allowance here. After, you, after we have gotten to this place, we'll be needing some extra allowance so that it can, so that we'll be able to what, make the wrapper drop. Okay, so I'll be adding like, let's say 10 inches around this area after I've got, so um, 11 divided by, 11 times 3, remember, 1, 2, and what, 3. So 11 times 3, we have 33. I'll be adding extra 10 inches for my draping of my wrapper so that it will give me how many? 43. So we need actually 43 from the back, um, center back here, so what, to this place. All right, now we are able to get this area. So now to get this area, remember the wrapper usually comes from the what, the left hand side. So this time, it's going to come from this side. I'll also attach this. Inside the zipper, I will attach it inside what my zipper. So once I attach it into the zipper, it's going to just stop somewhere around here. This is where we have the waist. Remember, we've gotten the three sides, the three sides of this area. We've gotten the three sides, so it's mainly just this quarter. So the wrapper is starting from the center, the middle of our box here, and it's going to end around here. So I wouldn't want it to be very straight. I would want to add some little drape to it. So the distance from the center, as a zipper area, the center back to the side of this place is how many inches? Remember, we've gotten the three sides, so it's remaining just the side, so it's just 11 inches. So I'm going to add extra 10 inches to it to give us what? 21 inches. So total of what I need here is 21. And total I need, what I need from this area to this area is going to be what? 43. So I have 21 here. And we have what 43 here. If um, I'm actually working with the fabric I, I have here, and even I have more, I would have taken more, all right, so that my wrapper can not drape very well. So I know you understand what I mean. So, so someone be asking, okay, how do we join? Won't it be too long? Yes, what I'm gonna do is this by the time I want to join it to the back from this area, I'll have to what pleat it, okay. Because I wouldn't want it to be equal with the with the length of my gown, so I'll pleat it in a way that it's gonna come what halfway. All right, so let's continue. Three times of what of the um, 
each of this we're cutting three parts of it so join it to the what to the right hand part now what i'm going to do if i'm making the real clothes i'll get the right hand side okay now i'm going to join it this way from the zipper side but before i do i need to pleat it so let's assume we are pleating the wrapper now just add some little pleats to it not actually much so i'm trying to add some pleats to the wrapper so what i'm going to do is this i'm going to join it here I just want you guys to understand it very well. So now, now for the other side, I'm going to join this part. You can see this is just one part, okay? This is just the wrapper I'm going to use on one part. Remember I said, I was going to use 11 inches plus 10 for giving us how many? Giving us 21. So I'm going to join it from this side too. So I'll add some pleats to it. Just add some pleats to it. Make sure that these two sides are equal. Okay? So I'll just add some pleats to it. Making sure that it's too fast I was equal. You know it's paper, so so once they are equal, once I've done this, I can now close up my what my zipper. Alright. So I can now close up my zip. So let's close up our zipper allowance. So we are going to bring it together and close up your walls, your zip. So let's assume this is the zip. Okay. So we are closing up our zip now. Just make sure your 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 pleats on the back are what are equal, so that one will not be longer than one. So now you can see. Now this is it. This is the initial wrapper coming from the back. All right. So we are going to get the front now. We'll join the front. Okay. I'll join the front in a way that we will not see any seam allowance. So we are going to join the front. So I'm joining the front now. guys to understand this very well. that's why i'm doing this okay at least before we sew it i want you to understand how to cut it okay so i've joined this part now we'll join this other part i want to look for a way to join it so that all the seams will be inside so let's join this part.
So I'll try and do it as So now now if you watch Discover that we have succeeded in words in closing it up from the back here, and then we've closed all our words, our allowances, as in we've closed this part, the skirt part, and this part. Now we are left with what with the two wrapper. Now, if you look at the wrapper from the right side, is longer, the left side is what is shorter. Now, there are different ways of tying this wrapper. You can either come this way. Okay, then bring this one here, side it here, and allow it to work, to drop. Okay, all right. Or you can decide to tie this way, like hold one there. You know the reverse, the way they tie the arrow. Hold this way, and then also hold it this way, and work and knot it. All right. So this is how to. Do what to do your work, illusion words. Um, now, for more clarity, you can see this is the right part, and this is the what the left hand part. This one, and so you can see that the wrapper that is going from the left from the right hand part is longer. Okay, it's longer because we needed three times of what of what we have here. All right, we needed three times of it, so you can see it's longer. And then the one going to the left hand part is what is shorter. All right, so this is how your illusion wrapper gown should be. So, this place, this center area, we are going to what close it up with the what with the zipper, it's going to remain inside, and we are going to pleat it. I've not pleated it right now, I just wanted to show you guys how I did it. See, it's longer, it's very long, but I had to what just fold it a little. So that you see what I want. I was trying to explain with what with the paper. So once we are through with this, we cover every we do all our turn up. Okay. We join the upper bodies, we do our turn up and all that. And don't worry, while I'm sewing, I'm gonna show you how to sew it. So this is just a cutting aspect, but I really wanted us to understand it very well. And so right now we've come to the end of this tutorial, and the next is going to be the sewing okay i'm going to keep you updated i'll be uploading the sewing by next week tuesday and so please if this tutorial was very helpful please don't forget to what to subscribe share with your soulmates and also leave your comments at the comment section all right and then we'll see you again in our next class i'm cynthia bye